Let's take a moment to recognize that I made and you're watching a video about a demon chicken. Welcome back to Heroes and Whiskey. I've got some plantation overproof in my Nat 20 glass to help me process the utter disaster that is this episode. I had found this really cool crazy-eyed cockatrice from the Surreal Factory, brought it into my slicer, and I was like, whoa, this is way too big. So I sized it down and I added some other figures to the print plate and it was just utter failure. Nothing printed at all. Uh, but of course, I had to do a full back clean just to make sure. Then I panicked and I just printed this cockatrice from Loot Studios because I already had it from a monthly subscription. And it was only later that I went back to the original slicer file and discovered that somewhere along the way, I had lifted the original cockatrice an inch off the plate. So I'm sorry, Surreal Factory Cockatrice, you never had a chance. And, and here we are. This guy from Loot came out really nicely, um, except for the fact when I went to glue him to his base, uh, I realized that he was missing a foot. Uh, and I found that foot still stuck to the support, so I had to pull it off. I had to cure just that foot and then glue it back on. So let's take a closer look. Not a surprise with loot, uh, they put as much detail into their small figures as the larger ones, and every millimeter of this guy makes you feel uncomfortable. There's just something about a monster that looks close to something in real life, but is twisted toward the grotesque. Size-wise, I think this guy is about twice as big as I would expect. I thought cockatrices... cockatrice? We're only about as big as turkeys, but he's clearly larger than that. And you can see it's on a 25 millimeter base and not a smaller one. And unfortunately, my panic added $15 of oversized cockatrice. And with the print time, we're closing in on $200 and four full days. This cockatrice got the best of me. Hopefully we'll have more luck next time when we print a coaddle.